On this Nomad scaler we have installed a lighting system with controllable lights, meaning that it's possible to adjust both the light intensity as well as the color temperature of each individual light, but you can also create groups or save presets so that you can easily adjust the lighting according to the surrounding circumstances or needs. So we at Normet, so we are looking always new solutions and the features, how we can improve operators' working environment and make working in underground more safer and, and ergonomic. So basically what we've done is that we have designed a system or developed a system that lets you optimize the lighting according to the conditions or the operator specific preferences. For example, the requirements for the lighting are quite different when accessing the site versus when doing the actual rock scaling work. Yeah, so as we know, the underground conditions are really tough, so of course there is a naturally dark always, but then there can be also dust and the fog. And then a rock surface can, can vary it a lot, so there can be shades or reflections. To get rid of those, these new uh, adjustable lights will help a lot. The controllable system allows you to have the light exactly where you need it. And at the same time, you can dim down the lights that you don't need that much. So basically you can reduce the glare and this results in, in perfect illumination for the work area. Especially the scaling work, so, so it's really demanding from the light perspective. So the operator needs to have a constant really good visibility from the rock surface, so he can detect the loose rocks there. And if there is this reflections and the shade, so it might make his, him uh, work a little bit more, more not so easy. So then when he can adjust the light temperature and the uh, color also, so he can then adjust the lights always suitable for that, that specific conditions and then get really good visibility and uh, make work much more uh, ergonomics and, and also, also increase the performance of the scaling work. So you get optimized lighting, safety and efficiency. In this study you have chosen to use the standalone version of the system. Could you explain us why? Yeah, so we are still uh, heavily on the testing phase. So, so with this machine we have installed this standalone system there. And uh, uh, it's much more easier from the retrofit installations. And we can then test that in here our own test mine with our own operators. And then later on go with that machine to the real mine size and get the feedbacks from the real scaling operators and, and see how, how it will help for, the, for them perform their work. But of course, like later on, it might be that we, we look also to these other solutions. That makes sense. The other option would be the integrated version in which you actually connect the controllable lights directly to the vehicle system. And this of course opens up a lot of new possibilities, like you can adjust the, the lighting automatically based on the different driving modes and these sort of things. The cooperation between Nomad and Nordic Lights goes quite far back. We have done several projects together. Do you see some specific common factor between our approaches to those development projects? That's true. We have done several lightning simulations together um, and the results have been really good. Uh, these good results are the reason why Normet wanted to support Nordic Lights uh, with the new lightning solution and also to, to see what kind of a benefits Normet could get out of it. And that kind of feedback that what you get out of the, the project is really valuable for us. It helps us improve the ways of working and also the actual products. Simulations are a really good tool uh, during the design phase, but uh, we can only see here in, um, in a field test like what we are currently doing here in Pyha Salmenmoen, that are we really getting uh, the benefits which we saw uh, during the simulations. It's nice to hear that you have benefited from the simulations and I do agree they are a valuable tool. Um, we always use real measurement data to create those lighting simulations and then we can design the optimal lighting for a specific vehicle based on the simulation. And that's what we've done in the past in those projects and now we are taking the optimization to a whole new level with the controllable lights. Mm -hmm.